physicists have been struggling to solve the conflict between classical and the quantum worldviews for the past century. Classical physics views the world as solid, separated from us, based in space and time, and highly predictable, while the quantum world tells us that the particles exist in many different states simultaneously and that we don't know which one of these states we, we will observe. In a nutshell, quantum reality is down to the randomness of probability. What do these two worldviews tell us about our lives and who we are? Let's take entanglement a startling but measurable phenomenon in quantum mechanics showing that if you take two particles and place them even at a huge distance apart, they can communicate to one another instantaneously. In other words, something is connecting them faster than the speed of light. That's a huge challenge to the classical idea of space and time. The key principle of entanglement is correlations, that the two particles are correlated. They can be flying apart at the speed of light. And in the last tiny fraction of a second, you make a measurement, the other one immediately knows what the other particle is doing. An integral part of entanglement is instantaneous communication. That connectivity is outside of space and time. When it's outside of space and time, it's also outside cause and effect. What if space and time are just useful maps and quantum entanglement is actually pointing us to a deeper reality, to a territory? And this place, this reality, is way more mysterious than we can ever possibly imagine. We think of the classical world and say, that is reality. But then physics tells us, no, that's not reality. The entanglement reveals something very basic to reality, to the universe. And what it is, is it reveals what is the truth about the essential nature of reality. It brings to us a totally different level of understanding of the world than we're used to with our five senses. We forget that our observations are just pointers. The map is not the territory. Our senses can only perceive a representation of reality, not reality itself. Curiously, when science drills down to, to the core of the even more solid-looking objects, separateness dissolves, and all that remains is a set of relationships expanding throughout and possibly beyond space and time. All spiritual teaching know that reality is unity. Everything is one. However, the unity that classical mysticism discusses still has things separated in time. But if we really investigate deeper into the very nature of consciousness, that shows really that the true nature of reality, the essence of reality, is really independent of time and space. It has no shape, no size. However, it contains the whole universe. How can this new understanding help us face in the challenges we have as humanity today? Take a look at the world you're creating. You think it's a world of separation and separate objects. Quantum theory says that is an illusion. So at a human relationship level, of course we communicate or we are entangled in some ways outside of space and time and speech. Love is simply the force of that unity that imbues all of life. You and I are one, absolutely one. It's not that we are one because we are the same consciousness. I mean, you and I as individuals are one. 
each form is inside the other form. All manifestation, the whole universe is all in one point. The whole universe like in the palm of your hands, how William Blake says. When we begin to realize the worldview that quantum theory puts forward, it's going to be at least as transformational as at the time of Galileo. After all, life is way more mysterious than we can ever imagine.